Making booze reviews doesn't need to be complicated With a snooty attitude that'll leave the viewer frustrated So join to I and Boogie as the whiskey gets evaluated And I promise that they'll always be unsophisticated Unsophisticated whiskey Welcome to Unsophisticated Whiskey. My name's Boogie. And I'm T.Y. And this is our review of George T. Stagg 2022. You wouldn't believe it, but I got this bottle in a raffle. And I was called second. And I about fell over when they called my name. I was crying with joy. <laughs> I couldn't actually believe it. It was absolutely astonishing because last year we went and it was like, we were like 100, 200, whatever. But to get called second and get a special bottle like this, especially with the you know provenance of it, what it is, it's uh, pretty special. And I chose this over W.L. Weller and Pappy15. So tell me how stupid I am in the comments. But I have a soft spot for Stag Jr. And I thought to myself, a 15-year, five-month, 138.7 George T. Stagg. He couldn't go wrong with that. Something I Not had to have. Um, everybody knows what the BTAC line is about, and uh, this one is definitely a special one. And uh, we're going to get into it here. Let's see how she tastes. It's going to be beautiful. Spoiler, we, I have tasted this before. Yes, 100%. We <laughs> got get into it a little get, her, bit. get it open, let yeah. it open up. Man, just a beautiful... Mm, fruit cocktail poured over the top of vanilla ice cream. No ethanol burn whatsoever. And you'd think at that higher proof, like, it would give you that ethanol like when you first initially smell that when you put your nose up to it you're gonna get that burn in the back of your nose like way back inside it's it's not there at all i just want to live i want to live in it it's got super sweet oak and i get this dark chocolate cherry note on it i'm not sure but that's it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful how many bottles of george t stag do you think it would take to fill my bathtub a lot. <laughs> a That's lot, what dreams though. are made of. Salut, sir. Wow. Oh. Oh. It's definitely a very special bottle. The oak, it's perfect. It is. And you'd think at 138 proof, like you're going to get that it's super heavy oak coming through on it. It's, it's not even like, it's like super sweet almost. It's still riding the finish as it goes. Yeah, that's, dude. It's a special one for sure. Top five bourbons of all time. Has to be. Yeah. This is the one and only George T. Stagg I've ever tasted. We should preface that. I've yeah. never tasted it. Um, um, We've been in this for about two years now, a little over two years, and this is definitely probably in my top three, I would have to say. There's some other special things that I've tried in my life, but this one, it's way up there, 100%. Um, MSRP, $99, so $100 <laughs> bottle. If you're lucky, maybe one day you'll find it for that. Uh, it said I won the opportunity to purchase this bottle and unfortunately even at the raffle it wasn't $99 I, I did pay $300 for this bottle and I'm not ashamed to say that I did so because I would do that 10 times over every single yeah. time <laughs> yes 100% I would I wish I was second because I would have I honestly probably would have took WLW but this I can't be mad at it at all this guy was like a little kid in a candy store. Like the, the smile on his face. I wish we, I could post a picture and just show you guys how cheesy his smile was. It was we can if I can figure out editing. Beautiful. If I can figure out editing, <laughs> yeah. we'll throw that picture We're still in. working on all that. 
we'll throw that picture. We're still in. working on all that, but uh, we'll definitely get there on that. God, like I said, it's just to me, I just get that fruity cocktail. It's like Stag Junior Batch 15, but just elevated to a whole different level. Yeah, and it stays with you. I can sit down and enjoy that drink for five minutes. 100 percent. And like the finish on it, it just going and going and going and going. It's definitely uh, a worthwhile finish, that's for sure. She's a beauty. Yeah, 100%, bro. Should I read the back of the bottle? Yeah, let them know a little bit about it. All right, guys, don't make fun of me. The, <laughs> <laughs> the period from 1865 to 1890 was known in the... All right, we're, we're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, like, it's like quite a few paragraphs there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If yeah, we're, we're not going to do yeah. that. You can All look right. that up online. Yeah. We'll, uh, Definitely. We'll, we'll see a picture of the back label yeah. as well if we can figure out editing right, right, right. in the video. Yeah, we'll get on that. <laughs> um, All right, I don't know. 15 and a half year old Buffalo Trace, Mashville one goodness. There's just not much else to say. If you ever find one of these, buy it. If you're at yeah. a bar and you've never tasted one, it's worth the $35, 40 $50. Whatever they're asking, 100% try it. I it's can, worth it. It is worth yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say that, like, if you've never had one, 2022 is all I can speak for, but special occasion, $70 pour at the bar. Go for it. And that dark chocolate and cherry is just rolling through on the palate. And the finish, you're getting, like, this super sweet oak. And, like, I was expecting a heavier oak presence and I don't mind that that's I don't mind the heavy oak at all that's something that I love but on this it's just just continues and continues I feel like it's a great pour um, I would definitely be a buyer at $300 <laughs> chef's sure. kiss man it's beautiful yeah 100% um, well I think that's our review yeah 100% um, we appreciate you guys tuning in to unsophisticated whiskey and we'll be posting more videos shortly. Yeah. Keep on the lookout for more reviews, blinds, lots of stuff. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.